Hey guys, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a small little cooking video for you. It was done one day, I think it was the day before shopping day. We had literally nothing in our in the fridge bar, a bit of chicken, a soft cheese and um, I think a bit of pasta. And we decided, now this pasta you could make up if you had veg that needed using up, if you had other meats, anything like that. It's one of those meals that you could literally throw anything you have into it it just happens that we had absolutely nothing to add into it bar a bit of chicken um so yeah so that was quite funny um but look it got us through everybody got fed everybody was happy everybody at the end of the day had a full belly so you can't complain so i hope you enjoy um and i'll talk to you at the end myself and kerry are having pasta with chicken and cream cheese and um, we are also going to put in some Italian cheese I'm going to grate up some cheddar cheese that's the pasta chicken is already pre-cooked roast chicken I got it in a shop it's from Aldi a couple of shops ago and um, just handy to have I normally always keep a pack of this in the fridge it's just handy for the kids even for lunches to come down and throw it on a bit of pasta but myself and Kerry are adding some soft whipped cheese, which is red pepper and chilli. It says it's spicy. I don't think it's very spicy. I can taste the red peppers more than the chilli. So we're going to have that. And I have some onion granules and some garlic granules to go with it. I have my pasta water boiling up there. Okay, so while my pasta is there coming up to a boil again, because it was up to the boil, put the pasta in, it's gone off the boil. So I'll be back up to the boil. I have put my cream cheese, which is a whipped cream cheese from Lidl. It was just one, as I said, we had in the back of a thing. I am going to add some garlic granules and I'm going to add some behind the onion granules. And I am going to wait until that pasta water comes up to a boil. And then I'm going to take a ladle of the pasta water. And I am going to use that to melt down the cheese, make the sauce. Because Carl won't be having any of this. And then I will put the chicken in to heat through. But I will set aside Carl's chicken and I'll show you that then. Okay guys, so my pasta's come to the boil. It's actually done. I'm going to drain that now in a few minutes. But I've actually taken a ladle, a soup ladle of... Um, of the pasta sauce and I've put it in here and I've turned this on now it doesn't look like it is going to come together but it does you just have to have faith and what I do is oops sorry I use oh my god I use a small whisk and I literally as that's heating I will just keep whisking that whisking let me talk now whisking that together till it comes and I might add in a little bit more water if I think the sauce is too it all depends i eyeball it and judge and i'm going to bring that up so this is the chicken i've set aside for carl as you can see they come out in quite big pieces so i'll just cut them into maybe in half just to bite-sized pieces so i can mix them through his pasta and then i'm going to do the same for myself and kerry this is how our sauce is looking so i'm just going to let that reduce a little and then i'm going to add our chicken and our cheese okay so how you use this grater it's an old-fashioned grater and even my kids were like what the norm so you literally just cut your cheese in blocks put it in the handle comes over and that's what you keep pressure on for when you're grating and you just turn the handle and off it goes grated so literally, we take a block of cheese, pop it in, put the put the thing down on it, and you and it's good because it's for right-handed people or left-handed people. You can put them in any way you like, and you literally keep pressure on it, and you literally just spin it around. And it is the easiest. No fear of your hands getting 
tops of your fingers on the grater, nothing like that. And then you just, it all comes out. You do get the odd slither of cheese, but it's, it's thin and it's for the person grating the cheese. And then you repeat until all said cheese is grated. So this is the chicken for me and Kerry. Now, if you had things like tomatoes, um, peppers, anything, any veg, anything that's going off, you could just add them into it and make it up, use up what you have. So I'm going to throw some cheese and I'm going to lower this down to a low simmer and then I'm going to put the pasta in. Okay, so this is my pasta. And it has, I put, topped it with the cheese and also put some black pepper on it and it is absolutely divine so guys i hope you enjoyed that as you can see dinner doesn't have to be fancy to be filling so and we like i'm i'm very good at using up stuff in my fridge so i'm just going to turn this camera around my puppy is snoring and he's just woken up because i've sort of half walked over to him but I like to see the pup so i'm just gonna do a quick little clip of the pup in here hey puppy all the peoples want to see you. I know, you've only woken up and it's past your bedtime. That's his bit of wood. He goes everywhere with that piece of wood. You want to go back asleep? All right, guys. So that was just a really quick, easy pasta dish with what we nothing left in our fridge. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I am going to try and record more cooking videos. I know people ask me so much and so many times so I am trying to work on them if you have any suggestions of any foods you want me to cook or any um or any um dishes you want me to cook I know a couple of people have come in asked me about scrambled eggs and stuff and how I do my scrambled eggs in fairness myself and Haley do differ on scrambled eggs I make mine the microwave Haley's a pan you make yours yeah, in the pan 100%. so um yeah but let us know if there's anyone in particular that you want and we'll try and get around to it